Alright, so uh, I'm going to show you t a couple cool ways how to get it so when you click it makes a sound and it also has a little effect. So uh, I'll put a link in the description to this file. Just highlight all, oh. highlight all of it and drag and drop. Now what you want to do first is just put this wherever you want. Uh, this is what will give you a cool effect as you click. Alright, so that's the first thing done. The second thing is this. It's a program called a Jingle Keyboard. So I already have it installed, as you can see, so I'm just going to replace it. So uh, I already have it installed. So there we go. Uh, don't click that, that'll add like a toolbar. So that'll run the program. And as you can see, when I click it makes a noise. That's what it sounds like when I hit a button too. Honestly, I hate this sound. Alright, so what you want to do is right click that, click preferences. Now I'm gonna unhighlight this, 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 this. Basically, I'm going to unhighlight all of it because I hate it. All right, hate it, except for left mouse button and right mouse button. Now I'm making a new folder called Sounds. Okay, so you want to take this, 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 highlight all, put it into Sounds. Now these are awesome mouse sounds that I got. Now you want to click Find Sound. Okay find desktop, go into sounds, and HD click. This is my favorite. Alright. So, you can hear it already. It sounds way better. Uh, so, go to desktop, sounds, HD click. Set that for mouse one, mouse two. Now, I also have included two other sounds, uh, beep sound, that's what it is, and uh, this click sound, which I had previously before I cut this out of a video. I really like the HD click, but you can use these if you want. Now there's also an alternative for this effect. The uh, droplet. It is cursor effects. So you want to click this. Just delete this. Uh, so what you want to do is on this it'll install it. So I already have it installed. So, uh, just pretend I installed it alright. So once you got it installed, open this, go to start, your computer, alright, and program files, find uh, wherever you put it, it should by default be in. Star dock. Now cursor FX. Highlight these two things. All right. Drag and drop into here. Click replace. Continue. All right. Now just search cursor FX. All right. Open it. 
and now these are a bunch of mouses cursors I should say that I've imported you if you click uh, settings no more cursors that's what it is click this it'll bring you to a website and here there's millions and millions of cursors well 259 to be exact but anyways um, so that's pretty much it once you've downloaded a cursor just run it and then it'll go into the cursors file now uh, basically you can't use this one it's the default it'll keep your mouse the same if you want to use any of the effects or trails you have to switch it because there's a bug in the program so uh, just to show off I'll use this one I got it's called Magmar it's like lava pretty sweet and you can get trails a bunch of other cool stuff so yeah um, I just I don't really use this but it's here if you want it so uh, I use the default see as you can see once I use the default try and apply something it won't work because it'll crash the program so yeah uh, that's pretty much it uh, thanks for watching if you found this to be helpful please like the video and uh, that's it